Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Orthodox Banter with Bojan. I'm the Bojan in question and I'm a reader of the Serbian Orthodox Church. I'm here to answer any questions that you might have about Orthodox Christianity from my own personal knowledge and experience. And we are continuing on the topic of the guardian angels. The two previous videos being on whether we can lose our guardian angels and also uh, what is the identity of our own personal guardian angels. Uh, today's question comes from Phoebe. She asks, uh, Boyan, it has been good to learn more about guardian angels. Could you talk about the tradition that priests have a second guardian angel, which is assigned at their ordination, and the tradition that schema monks slash nuns also have a second guardian angel assigned when they take schema vows? While the idea of a guardian angel has never been a problem for me, the idea that some people have two or even three, mostly here monks, has always been a course of wonder for me. The related idea that churches have their own guardian angel and families acquiring a guardian angel has also, uh, has also interested me. Uh, thank you for your question, uh, Phoebe. Uh, from Christ's own words, from the Gospel of Matthew, see that you, not, uh, do, that you do not scandalize one of these little ones, uh, because their angels always behold the face of my Father in heaven. Um, it's all, it's, uh, it isn't really clear whether we have one or even multiple guardian angels. However, I would say that uh, the tradition of the Orthodox Church is to, um, is that we all have a single guardian angel. Because um, our, our prayers that are directly referencing the guardian angels always reference them in singular. So it's now a guardian uh, my guardian angels pray for us and so on. no 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 it's always a singular guardian angel and as far as i know uh, priests and monks and schema monks do not use their own special prayer books they have their own which are uh, which are st uh, standard issue prayer bo books of orthodox christians where angels are considered to be you know guardian angels are considered to be singular now this does not at all mean that uh, we necessarily have a guardian angel we have we can have zero guardian angels if we trace our own guardian angel away to our heinous sins or maybe the lord would deem it uh, uh, profitable for someone to have additional guardian angels this is only uh, you know in the lord's dominion such a decision and we have no clue uh, as regards to that respect um, i myself haven't really heard of such a tradition of angels uh, of uh, sorry uh, of priests or monks or schema monks receiving additional guardian angels i have heard it uh, in catholic uh, circles i must say that i haven't heard about it in the orthodox circles i'm not saying it's not there it's just that i do not do not know about it however i did experience uh, i did uh, not experience but i did encounter cases where you could say that maybe there were more guardian angels involved but maybe not necessarily guardians but just you know ordinary angels who happened to help their guardian brother um, i recall this exorcism that uh, took place in russia and uh, uh, a possessed man uh, kept screaming that uh, the priest was exorcising him uh, will uh, will prevail because he has had many angels in him however you know this is just demon talking and i always always consider that anything the demons say to be of next to zero value you know it might as well be true but we cannot be absolutely sure that it's just not you know demons trying to sway us one way or the other or um, I even remember this booklet in this church uh, shop that uh, was called something along the lines of The Devil Speaks. And it was basically a collection of all the things demons were saying uh, during exorcisms. And uh, I commented to the shop proprietor, like, uh, if there's any book here that needs to be simply ditched into fire, it's this one. He sort of agreed, but it was also one of those books that was selling really well because... We like supernatural, we like angelic encounters, we, we like miracles. Um, and, you know, I constantly joke that if I want to have a lot of views on my videos, I just need to name one of the videos like my experience with dark magic and occult and how I protected myself uh, since came to the rescue. You know, people will always chase for the special effects, you know. 
and uh, <laughs> that really becomes a problem in the book of Exodus because once the charm of the miracle wears off, people go back to their own ways. Uh, I should also note the different visions of the toll houses where people tend to have like two, guardi uh, two angels, one of whom is a guardian, the other one is, I don't, uh, is rarely specified what he is, he is just an angel there. And I've heard, again, a very small tea tradition that exists in Russia that you should pray to your meeting angel, which is an angel that will meet you in the hereafter, you know, while your soul is being judged. However, again, this is a very small tea tradition. Take it as you will. I'm just presenting it here for you. Uh, as regards to places having guardians and like nations and churches, this isn't at all, you know, strange. Uh, we know from the book of Daniel that Michael was considered uh, a guardian of the nation of Israel. And we can see from um, the book of Revelation that uh, different churches have their own guardians. Now, you can basically maybe conclude that these angels in the book of Revelations are essentially bishops of those churches. But whatever the case may be, uh, we, are, uh, we know that there is a huge number of angels and that... Um, Considering that every like church, nation, uh, or an individual who has their own guardian angel isn't all at isn't at all far fetched. As regards to families having guardian angels, again, I really haven't encountered that uh, tradition. Um, then one might ask, um, you know, well, families aren't really all that uh, strict of a structure. You know, people change families. Uh, families get ex extinguished, they change last names, they get dispersed and so on. So uh, maybe things are a tad more fickle there. But again, not far-fetched, but at least as regards to famil uh, familial guardian angels, I have never encountered such a tradition. If some of you has uh, heard something about it, please feel free to share it in the comments below. Um, I know that this video wasn't all that useful. Again, this is just me sharing what I have experienced and what I have encountered and what I have read. Uh, if you have any other questions, I hope to see you in one of the next videos. Bye!